How's it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Binding of Isaac. In this video we'll be playing as Judas. Let's jump right in. Alrighty boys, so there's two routes left on this character. There's Mother and there's Ascension. For this one I'll do Ascension, which means we have to skip the treasure rooms until we get a planetarium. Once we get a planetarium we'll retrieve all of the rooms that we skipped on the way up. One of my favorite things to do. You basically get like a free planetarium. It's a bit cheese. But I got that tactic from someone in the comments, so thanks for the tip. Tinted rock right there, but I don't have... Ooh, wait, black candle. Okay, I really want black candle. It's gonna... Dude, it's black candle, it's on sale. Getting that item is gonna reduce the amount of headaches on this run by so much. So I need that money. I need that money. I need two more coins. Badly. Badly. I don't even care about that tinted rock. I want two coins. Do we get a coin? Yes, we do, but I can't get to it. No, the game's teasing me. I need a bomb. Come on, coin. 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 Yes. Okay, we got it. Black candle is ours, boys. Could you imagine I just got hit by that flame and died? Sadly, no bomb, but it's fine. We got a black heart. No more curses ever again. Thank you. Use this book, facing Monstro, another Tinted Rock, sadly, no way to really destroy it. I don't think Monstro can destroy rocks. No, I could be wrong. No, I'm pretty sure he can't. Monstro can't do that. No, he can't. Alright, gun him down. And we got him. Nice. Oh, the wooden spoon. Lame. Alright, well, skip that item, down we go. Hopefully we get this planetarium. Basement 2. Luckily we didn't get the cellar. Okay, that is a dice room. I get a soul heart. That's cool. Definitely we'll be going angel deals for this run. I don't like going devil deals against the beasts. Because I value survivability. I don't like giving away my HP. Because the whole thing about the beast is, so as long as you shoot in this general direction, you are going to kill it. Same with Dogma. Like, you will chip away and kill Dogma, right? It's about the HP. If your damage is a little low, it's okay. It's okay. It'll just take a little longer. That's some rainbow poop there, but it's not really that useful to me. Alrighty, so we didn't find a planetarium, and sadly, I ate a freaking tears down pill. Let's use this book. Kill these worms, get this deal that I'm not going to take, and uh, move on with our lives. Nice. We actually get growth hormones, and we get a soul heart. Yeah, let's just go down. Cool. There's nothing more for me to do on this floor. Don't have bombs. 41% chance for a planetarium. Let's hope we get that one. Growth hormones is good, though. We got seven damage without the Book of Belial. That's a huge boost. Especially for the early game when stuff's pretty tedious. I might as well walk in just to see what's there. We get the Hierophant too. Coupon. Coupon's cool. Definitely should blow this up to increase my chances of a deal. We actually get money. Can't even buy the coupon. There's our two soul hearts. Cool. Blood donation machine. I could donate some HP to that. Hey, okay. you think this guy will give me some HP after I give him 10 or 9 coins? Yes, we get some HP. All right. Into blood bag. That'd be really good. We got a lover's card, so I'm running right back to this. Yeah, I'm on. Ooh, big money. Actually, could get the coupon now, but... Ooh, lucky penny, but still. Don't have what I want. Blood bag. Really want blood bag. Oh my god, I played the biggest game with chicken there, and it actually paid off. Wow, we got a sack room, and I've found the secret rooms. No planetarium, though. Alright, well, at least I don't have to wander. I don't have to be like, hey, do I have the planetarium? Nope, there's no planetarium, boys. There is a sack room, though, but no, I'm not going to use it. It's not practical. It's not feasible. Not a good idea. So I have skipped. This is going to be the third item room. You think I missed out on some good items? I guess we'll see. No HP here. Let me blow this up. Okay, I, I get a whole bunch of bombs. That's cool. Blow this up. Fighters, run. At least I can get the super secret room. 
I'm going to give one more HP to this pod machine. Nope. I have been scammed. Ooh, pills. Got speed up. Speed up. Full health. Nice. Experimental. That gave me HP, but it took my shot speed down a little. I think that's fine. Health up. Okay. Okay. Wait. Those pills were actually so freaking good. Okay, I still didn't get blood bag though. <laughs> it's fine. That's actually fine. Bro, we literally got two health ups. And then barely anything bad happened to us. The only thing that was bad was we lo we lost a bit of shot speed. Like, ooh, big deal. That was actually a very good super secret room. Probably one of the best super secret rooms I've had in a very long time. Like, when's the last time I benefited that much from a super secret room? And you know what? This is like compensation for all the treasure rooms that we ha were forced to skip. You know? All these little minor stat increases. It was deserved, damn it. Deserves. Ooh, more HP. Angel item, hopefully. No, that sucks. All right. No planetarium, no angel item. However, I'm still going to go for this damn blood bag. Come on. I've given you so much of my red HP. You owe me. You gave me IV bag. After all that, he gave me IV bag. So we have an angel item waiting for us. Planetarium, hopefully, too. 61% chance, 81% chance. Come on, dude. Those aren't low chances anymore. These are high chances. We would actually have to be very unlucky for this not to happen. Buddy in a box. Do I want buddy in a box? I mean, it's a tier two. I'll take it. Roll. Nine volts actually good. Blow this up. Okay, 86% chance for a deal, by the way. I do want nine volts, so I need money. Yes, planetarium has been spotted. Good. What do we get? Luna. Have I gotten Luna before? All right, nice. Luna's cool. Devil card. Devil card's cool. No, but I want to keep the blood donation machine. All right, yeah. Cool. Now I can open up my item rooms. Load this up. What do we get? Three of these and a beam of light. Nice. All right, now we can go item room. D10. Bro, I don't want the D10. Devolves enemies. Ain't no way. Not my style. Also, I just realized I can get 9 volt. Also, I'm going to do this. Wait, I get store credit. Hell yeah. I'm taking that for free, boys. I'm going to blow this up. I can get charged, baby. All right, I got a lot of energy items, which is good considering I got Book of Belial. Let me use this. All right, nice. Now I just need car battery and I need jumper cables. <laughs> Ooh, we got a soul heart, nice. So far, this run's actually going pretty damn well. Angel item, we get magic scab. Good. And holy light, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Good shit, boys. I'm going to blow this up. Holy Light is really good against the beasts. Last time we did Death's Touch and Holy Light, and it was like insane damage. Already a good build. I don't want the Cursed Skull. Yep. And do the old chances go up, baby. Hell yeah. Plus, we get even more HP because of the Eternal Heart. Good. Give me Blood Bag, damn it. Give me Blood Bag. Yes, blood bag. Okay, even more HP. Plus, I get some speed. I can blow this up. I can get my beam of light. Ooh, and I get uh, one up. Cool. Get HP. Well, not HP, I get a life. Another eternal heart, bro. Alright, leave it. Wait, Steam Sale and member cards? Ooh. Yeah. That's actually a dangerous combo. Because you can get those juicy items on sale. Okay, I can get the Eternal Heart and just get my HP. Stigmata, I can get PhD. Alright, let's build up some money. Yeah, like, I can grab both those Eternal Hearts potentially. Okay, found the treasure room. Use this. 
I don't really care about losing HP. It's getting sacrificed in the sack room anyway. There's a lot of... Well, there's actually not that much red HP on the map, but I think it's fine. All right, big money. What do we got? Little Chad. Grab it. Okay, I can't blow that up, sadly. Rip. So, what am I buying? Wait. Do I take Steam Sale? Is this, like, correct? Because I am going to get another one of these rooms, VIP rooms. It's probably better in the long term I take this. And I can still buy stuff. Good. Yeah, I'm just going to take Stigmata for sure. I'm not going to grab the Eternal Heart. There's no point. Now, I'm going to go to the sack room. Yeah, okay, we get a chest. Full health pill. Excellent. Angel, do a chances go up. We don't get teleported. Do we get an item? No, we get a soul heart. Damn it. Now, let me do this. Use this. Bitch, come back. Do this. And we get a whole bunch of money. Okay, good. So, it's not all bad. Not all bad. Because I'm actually going to get that PhD. Cool. I don't need the second key piece, do I? Does that help my chances? Let me see. This is for science. Okay, if I touch this, how much? Yeah, it does make the chances go up. Okay, that's cool. Oh, yeah, I have enough. Cool. I found pills. No effect. Let me grab this. Right here. Good. Oh, it was actually stolen. But that's fine. Because I get my lights. Oh, and I get money. Good. All right. Tears up, boys. Good. Plus half a soul heart. All right. Excellent. Now we're in business. And in we go. Yeah, let's gun him right down. Try to kill this guy quickly. He's freaking tanky, bro. We got 10 damage and we killed him kind of slowly. No, it didn't trigger and it gave me experimental treatment. Which I don't think I want, but I'm close to spun, so maybe I will take it this time. Oh, it made my tears go down. Yeah, whatever. Okay, this floor was great. Hopefully we can trigger this angel deal. Oh, wait. I just realized. Yeah. So that holy light actually expires at the end of the floor. Look how bad my tears are right now. Wow, my tears are abysmal, dude. Look how little I shoot. This is like the worst tears ever. Oh, this sucks. Okay, so I got to get my tears up like ASAP. My damage is good. My tears are disgusting. Like, terrible. At least there's a bunch of HP. If there's another sack room, I'll be in a great spot. Blow this up. What do we got? Rainbow poop. Alright, yeah. Tears went up. Like I said, we'll be in a great spot. Okay, this guy's mini. No, that is... Oh, actually, it took me to an angel deal. Okay. And it's going to give me an urn. I don't want... Oof. I'll touch it, but I ain't taking that, bro. No way. And uh, I don't want to grab this eternal heart because there's a chance that there's a sack room on this floor that I might use and I might trigger this room anyway. So, leave. Okay, the virus. So that's why I took experimental treatment. It spun. Just showed up. We get a good pill. And our damage went up. It's just that my tears right now are very, very, very bad. Dude, you know, I really do regret unlocking the urn. Like, I'm not joking. There are some items I regret unlocking because they di it dilutes the item pool. You know how many times I've gotten urn instead of something else? And I feel like I see urn very, 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 very often. Like, I get it so much. Ooh, library. Maybe we get bookworm. Bookworm? Oh, we do. Ooh, satanic bible on top. If I even take satanic bible, I feel like I don't need it. Yeah, whatever. I'll take it with me. Like I said, against the beast, I value survivability over just raw damage. Because, one, we got holy light. Two, our damage is already kind of good. And then three, it's really about survivability. It's not like I need the extra Book of Belial damage. I really just need to be able to survive so I can chip away. Oh, yeah, VIP room. I forgot that was coming up. Blow this up. Hey, what do you have for me? All of this, frankly, sucks. However, this trinket's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'll take it. That trinket broke the game last time. It helped me break the game. Oh, there is a sack room. Okay, my prayers were answered, boys. Because this was the perfect room. This was the perfect floor for a sack room. 
I just hope I can cheese a angel item from the 33% chance. Not this. I don't care about this. Yeah, I don't care about that. But I will grab the eternal heart, which, by the way, I'm going to lose. And then, yeah. Okay, that sucks. I didn't get what I needed. Lame. Bitch, do this. What have you guys told me about this move? Just to, like, leave and then hit it again with free stuff. I get 36 coins, but the VIP room didn't really have anything good in it. So I'm just going to grab this HP and then face this boss. You know, before picking up that HP, I should have thought about it for a second because that room. You know what? I can still do it. And I will do it. Okay, I hope this doesn't come back to bite me, but let's go. This better not come back to bite me. Oh, yeah, I should have just left all those HPs. Go in here. Grab the pearls. Ditch. Extra stats for free. All right, and we go. Big damage. Yeah, our damage is kind of lame. Holy Light is like the one saving grace. But right now, we're not very impressive. This is a pretty mid run. It's not a broken run. It's a mid run. And we're doing a little better because of the lightning familiar. The electricity familiar, but that's not every game. Oh, okay. I get another Eternal Heart. That's good. I was redeemed. Grab this. Grab this. Ditch. Go here. Let me in. Let's go. Okay, now I just need a bunch of HP. Okay, nice. So I found the first secret room and it actually connects to the curse room. Recurse room. HP. Roll bomb. Get the hell away from me. Nice. Blow this up. You know, I just remembered I never freaking blew up the rainbow poop. Damn it. I knew I forgot something. Grab the spotlight. I like really need to get my tears up. There are no secret rooms on the ascent. Does Luna even work? Like, normally, there are no secret rooms. Okay, we found the item room. I could get Lil Haunt. I could get Metal Plate. Or I can take this. Flatstone. Oh, wait. I got it anyway. I can get both. Nice. All right. I think that benefits me. Yeah, I think that works. Although, you know Flatstone? When you face the Horseman and even the Beast, I think it's actually kind of bad. You have to get closer to them in general because your tears just fall. Uh, there's options. I don't think that matters if I take it. Like, what options? Options for what? Oh, come on. This is all a dud. Is it a good rune? What rune is that? Answers? Just gives me vision. Wait. Okay. Let me use it. At least I find a bunch of spotlights, but I lose them anyway. And I don't have the bombs to get into all these. Oh, great. Whatever. I'm going to take this just in case there's something I'm missing, even though I don't think there is. I'm going to hold on to my money, and if I can't spend it on anything, I'm just going to donate it and then get the hell out of here. All right, let's ascend, boys. What do you guys think? I, I think our run's going pretty well. We have the damage. I just don't think we have the tears, bro. I think the tears are really bad. Also, let me test something for science. Not speed up, by the way. Good, I need some of that, but I need tears up. Okay, if I do this... Yeah, there's no secret rooms that show up on this floor. Yeah, just as I thought. But the spotlights and Luna doesn't really matter. Gold chest, squeezy, nice. I do need to make sure I hold onto some keys. I needed tears up badly, didn't I? So that's a, actually a very good boost. Oh, I just found a trap door and another key, good. Wait, is that the host hat? Wait, host hat is great. That's gonna help me a ton, especially against the horseman. The ones who chuck the bombs. I think. Yeah, I think I think it's meant to help against those. At least. Speed up, pill. What do we get? Bozo? Uh, I don't want Bozo. I can reroll. We got money. Lost contact. You know, Isaac's tears destroying enemy shots isn't bad, but I really just need tears up. No. No. No, I don't want the cleaver. No actives, please. Okay, into Pyromaniac, which gives me immunity to explosions and fire. And actually heals me when I get hit by explosions. So, host hat plus that. All right, let's go up. What do we got? Contagion. All right, for some room clear. Although we don't really need it. Ooh, 
Oh, wait. I don't want to give you my shit. Let me blow him up. Full health pill. Okay, that's a big change. That's a, that's a run changer. Full health pill against the beasts. With Satanic Bible. Guys, I think I finally got my survivability that I asked for. That's pretty much all I need. I don't think I need any more. Now I can go full damage. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I can actually make that troll bomb not kill the kids. Hell yeah, I actually saved his life. Gave me bum's coin purse. Okay, mob transformation definitely coming up. I get the speed up pill. I get health up pill. I get no stat decrease because I got PhD. I got this one makes you smaller. And I get that. Nice. Good. Alright, what do we get? Bro, my first item was Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> that would have made the run a lot easier. Bro, isn't that crazy when you ascend and then you see what you were supposed to get and it's like, bro, so much good shit I missed. One time I got like Tech X. It's like my first item. All right. I hate this rotten heart. I, I hate it. I don't want it. Yeah, we should be fine. 10 damage. L tears actually aren't that bad anymore. Oh, I get the red key. Wait, what? Thing is, I already have Judas. Oh, there's nothing here now. Yeah, I already have Judas, so I don't really. Let's jump in. And let's go, boys. Dogma time. All right, so we're not going to have this mega crazy damage. We're just going to let Daddy Long Legs do its thing. But the full health pill is back up. I'm actually still doing some good damage to this TV. Because of Holy Light, mostly. All right, we broke the TV. Now let's kill the real Dogma. We're actually doing some nice damage to him. He hasn't actually hit us yet. Like as his second form. Careful. And there, there, there it goes. All right, we got the first punch out the way. But look, we barely took any damage. So we got the full health pill. Satanic Bible. I got Pyromaniac. My character hitbox is tiny. And yeah, this is why I kind of don't like that item I was talking about. L look at the range of my shots. Look how they just fall down. Like, that's kind of annoying. But whatever. I should have not taken that damn item, to be honest. I shouldn't have taken it. I think it was a bad idea. Okay, I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but whatever. Not complaining. Like, look at the range. That range is abysmal. If things go to shit, I'm going to use my full health pill. So far, it seems to be going well. All right, there's my satanic Bible, and there's actually some HP. Next is this dude. Fire can't even hurt me, so I'm fine. I enjoy the fire. Doesn't the fire heal me? Or explosions heal me? Ow. Grab that HP. All right, last horseman. This guy doesn't feel as tanky as the rest of them. He's more glass cannon-ish. I don't have to have the same amount of HP, but he definitely feels weaker. Maybe because I can get closer to him to deal more shots compared to the other guys. Oh boy. You know, he doesn't normally do this move. I feel like I've rarely experienced that move. Alright, we got him. Use this. There's some HP. Alright, it's beast time, boys. Full health pill, plenty of damage. Just have to run backwards and shoot. This thing's gonna take a while. I have to say, this is one of my slowest beast fights ever. This is so slow. If you're any weaker than this, I don't know how you even do this fight without getting super bored. Not even halfway, bro. Dude, I'm telling you, this is literally because my tears don't reach. Alright, we almost got her. We got her, boys. Pro tip, don't take that, uh, that tear I took that lobs your tears. I don't think it's a good idea. We get redemption. Beast is finished. We just have to do the mother route, and then we're finished with Judas. Then we can vote on the next character. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video and subscribe for more. I'll see you all in the next one.